So what we can do first is on the left, make it like the right, is we can shift, excuse me, we can use a trig property. We can turn tangent squared into one minus secant squared x. And if you notice on the bottom, we can actually turn this into secant x. These have a common denominator. We can just separate it like this. So what happens is this secant gets canceled out. This just becomes secant. So this is one over, secant can be converted to one over a cosine minus secant x. You know what, I think this is actually secant squared x minus one, sorry. There we go. And then what this does is when you divide by something, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So it simply becomes secant of x minus cosine of x. And that's it. Alrighty, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have a great day.